I hope everybody's doing well out there. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back. This is Brian916. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you what to do in an event where uh, you have an anchor bolt on your lift uh, that the wedge, it doesn't want to wedge or that you keep tightening uh, the nut on the anchor and it just keeps pulling the, uh, the fastener out. Okay, so uh, that's what happened on this one. Uh, I came back, notice it got loose, so I came back. I always, I periodically check the nuts on here, you're supposed to anyway, just to double check and make sure that they're still torqued. And um, so I came back and checked, this one was loose, so I kept, you know, trying to tighten it down and a bolt just kept spinning. So I'm gonna show you what to do. Uh, maybe if you accidentally drilled the hole out too big or, uh, in this case, I think, in my case, it just may be some cheap concrete, maybe. I'm not sure, but, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take a cutoff wheel, okay, and get it, it you know, it's going to keep spinning in there. So you're going to run the nut up, do some vice grips, lock it down, get the nut up. <clears throat> so it's just the uh, anchor bolt. And then you're going to chop the anchor bolt off with a cutting wheel. And then you're gonna go ahead and pound it down. You're gonna grab your air hammer, get your longest bit on there, and you're just gonna drive that uh, wedge bolt all the way down into the dirt. As you can see, uh, I pounded mines deep down into the dirt. And uh, so now I can put another uh, anchor bolt in. So if you listen, you can hear me tap it. hear me tapping it so you know I could drive it down a little bit further if I wanted to okay so that the new wedge bolt won't um, you know won't it won't interfere with the new bolt so in this case I just put another one in there and I try to tighten it up same thing it, it doesn't want to uh, uh, span out okay almost as if this hole was drilled too large even though you know all the other ones were dr drilled at the same diameter so i don't know what's going on but i'll show you how to fix this if this is your problem okay so most of you guys know how these bolts work uh, you pound it into the ground uh, you start to tighten it down and uh, as you tighten it down it starts to draw the bolt up this wedge right here starts to wedge itself inside the concrete and it jams and you're not able to get this bolt out and then you can just go ahead and torque the nut down and you know it's just jammed into the concrete so in this case uh the wedge it won't open up um so i can't um use it that way so let me show you uh what you need to do in order to fix this problem and in fact uh, it's going to be a lot stronger than just using this wedge anchor uh, by itself. So let's head over to Home Depot and I'll show you what you need. Okay, so you're going to come to your concrete section and your local Home Depot or whatever uh, big box store you use. You're going to get high strength anchoring adhesive. Okay, uh, this is the kind right here. Uh, right here super strength anchoring adhesive okay this is not to be confused with liquid nails or construction adhesive this is something totally different okay so you're not going to find this stuff in this section of the store where you get your caulking your construction adhesive liquid nails and stuff like that you're not going to find that over here you're going to find this stuff in the concrete section all right guys so here we are back at the lift and um, i'm gonna go ahead and clean the hole out just a little bit before we put in this uh anchor adhesive to kind of get this area nice and smooth all right so i got my area nice and clean I got my anchor bolt right here ready to go. And uh, 
So I've used this before and I know from experience, the way you pound this bolt in is gonna be a little bit different than if you were using the wedge. We're not using this wedge. Uh, we're basically uh, cementing this in for the most part, okay? So this is, um, again, I wanna reiterate, this is what this is for, okay? As you can see there, all right? This is what this is meant for, okay? So again, this is not a construction adhesive. This is not some kind of epoxy glue or liquid nails or anything like this, all right? This is heavy duty stuff right here. So, all right, let me show you how to use it. Uh, the reason why I got this mat out here is because we're gonna actually mix up some um, some of this stuff <coughs> the way you use it you do need to use a caulking gun I don't know if I mentioned that so I'm gonna hold it, go ahead and load it up and your caulking gun okay so what you're gonna do is pull out this little bag right here that's in here because there's two different chemicals in here one I assume is concrete and some other chemical that makes the concrete hard so you know, pull it out. So as you can see there in this bag, there's two different colors and you need these to mix up. All right, so one I think is concrete and the other is some chemical to make it hard and fast. All right, so you're just gonna go ahead and cut this bag open. Okay. And you're gonna push a little bit out just to get it flowing. Alright, you're gonna put your little nozzle on here. Once you get your nozzle on there, you're gonna go ahead and push it out. But you're gonna keep pushing it until you get a gray color coming out. Just using it until this stuff starts to mix. Okay. All right, so now it's starting to mix. I can see now that it's gray coming out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start filling up this uh, hole. And don't be like me and buy a cheap caulking gun. Use a really good caulking gun. Because you have to push this stuff really hard. So, so I'm struggling here getting it out, but I'm getting it out. Oh boy. Okay, so then you're gonna take your anchor bolt, all right? Don't put it all the way to the tip like you normally would. All right, you wanna put it about right here. And go ahead, push that in. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead and hammer that in. What I like to do is put just a little bit more right around the edge here. A little bit more in there. Put that down in there. All right, so now you're gonna take your vice grips or suppliers or whatever you have. 
you can twist this stuff around. Okay. Yep, I could tell it's starting to dry already. So now we got the uh, uh, anchor bolt in there. Okay. Now it only really takes about five minutes for this stuff to uh, harden up. Okay. So you're just gonna let it sit for about five minutes, and then you're gonna come back and torque that down. So if you take a look here, you can see I got the epoxy filled all the way up. Okay, inside the hole all the way up. So that's what you want to do. Uh, I want to make sure it's all the way full. This is the epoxy that I uh, squirted out to uh, get it to mix. So uh, as you squirt it out, it'll start to mix and turn gray. You can see that's hard already. Alright, so that's already hard. So, like I said, you have to work fast with this stuff. So you see you got to work quick with this stuff. Now I can go ahead and throw my washer on there. Go ahead and get my nuts started. Uh, you don't want to make sure you don't get any of this uh, epoxy on the threads. Uh, so you got to be careful about that. Alright, so it should be hard enough at this point. I can go and get my torque wrench and I can torque that down. All right, so because it's winter time, it's wet outside, and there's a lot of moisture uh, on the ground right here, I actually did uh, go ahead and uh, let this sit for 24 hours. Typically, you don't have to do that in warm summer months. I mean, it dries instantly, but uh, when I put the epoxy in this hole, I mean, there was moisture and wetness in this hole. So, uh, you know, you're not supposed to mix it, you know, obviously with water. So, um, so that's the reason why I went ahead and let it sit for 24 hours. Uh, but now this should be uh, cured and I can go ahead and torque this down. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and run this down and torque it down. Like I said, I can't remember the torque spec, but I got my uh, torque wrench set to uh, 100 and 115 foot pounds. So I got it set to 115 foot pounds and uh, so that's, that's quite a bit of torque. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and torque it down. I'll have to uh, go back and double check the manual later. Because uh, I think I do got a manual at home for this lift. So right now I'm at 80, 90. It's 115 foot pounds right there. So <clears throat> I'm going to go in. See if I can look it up online and torque it to the, the proper spec. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I looked it up. <clears throat> it's 130 foot pounds. So not much more to take it to. It's at 115, so it ain't gonna go much further. It's pretty much. That's pretty close. All right, 130. One, actually went to 131. All right guys, so that's how you take care of a uh, problem with your anchor bolts. If you have an anchor bolt that keeps coming back up when you tighten it down, or for some reason a hole got too big and uh, you weren't able to actually secure it. So that's how you fix that problem. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the product that I use. Uh, it's a concrete anchor epoxy, uh, I believe is what they call it. Uh, you want to use the super strength since it is, you know, a heavy duty lift. It's picking up pretty heavy stuff. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. 
This is Brian916. I'll see you guys on the next one.